Right, what's going on boys, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Mr. H3H3, because he's made a comeback on another fucking platform, which is just, it's good for YouTube, because maybe he'll finally fuck off, but it's bad for Twitch. As they're already starting to realise, because in his, like, four days that he's been on the website, he's caused the most drama that that website's had in fucking months. But before we get into it, you might have noticed I've got a haircut, and my hair's actually looking very nice and shiny. And that is because I combed it for the first time in like fucking five years. No troll, no fucking meme, look at this shit, see? I'm combing it, nice. And it's got like a weird fucking coconut head type shit going on because my barber didn't cut it to be swooped to the side, he cut it as like a fucking forward fringe, which is, you don't care, I'm gonna shut up. So without further ado, let's get into why HRE HRE. It's fat. So HRE HRE is morbidly obese, we all know that by now. And on the topic of morbidly obese people, Twitch. He's joined Twitch, and a few Twitch streamers were happy about it because they thought, you know what, maybe we can be friends with him. A good chance for networking, because on his first ever stream, he, he had like 20,000 viewers. So a lot of Twitch streamers saw that as an opportunity for more viewers and income. So a lot of well-established streamers, not to name any, Ms. Kiff, Hassan, started sucking up to him. But that's on a completely unrelated note. So the topic of today's video is the gambling debate that they had on stream, which I'm going to be honest, I hate Ethan, but props to him. It was some of the best content on Twitch I've seen in fucking years. Because in this debate, people were throwing their friends under the bus, people were getting triggered, XQC doing his fucking caveman face type shit. But it was all pretty much just one big shit show. And the reason being is the topic pretty much derailed in like the first five fucking minutes. They started off talking about why it's bad to promote gambling to a ch child audience, which Sure, but if you want my personal take on it, I don't think gambling on Twitch is a bad thing. Gambling has existed on Twitch since like 2015. It's really nothing new. So yeah, the conversation pretty much started of whether it was okay to stream two kids gambling, but then it eventually fucking derailed into you're a dickhead if you gamble in general. And in typical H3H3 H3 fashion, he got someone else on there to debate for him. Obviously, it's H3H3, H3, he had to. So how the whole scenario went down was, H3H3 H3 was streaming, he invites XQC on for a nice little debate about gambling, because XQC, if you didn't know, used to do promoted gambling streams, but he stopped because he started to get addicted to it. Which, I mean, props fucking to him. At least he could tell when he was getting an addiction, and he helped himself. Trainwreck, on the other hand, is uh, in a bit of a different boat. Now, Trainwreck is pretty much the biggest gambling streamer on the platform, because he already had an audience beforehand when he was like a meme streamer, but... He's grown up, he's in his fucking 30s, an old bastard. And you know, all honesty, if you want my take on gambling streams, who cares? At the end of the day, it's the parents' responsibility to stop their kids from gambling, not the fucking streamers, you know what I mean? That's if the child is underage. If it's an 18-year-old and they can legally gamble, that's on their self, I guess, I don't fucking know. So H3H3's main criticism of all the gambling websites is that they're all a scam. Well, not really a scam per se, but they're unregulated. So, for example, they don't check IDs, they use crypto instead of actual money. Which, to be fair to him, that is a good point. Because crypto is really fucking difficult to track. So, yeah, in the way that they operate sometimes, they can seem very sketchy. So, I'll give that one to H3H3. H3. Little round of applause for him. The fat man actually got something right for once. But I do have a bit of an issue with the way he said it. He's, if he said something like, yeah, I have a bit of an issue with these sites. They're a little bit sketchy. They don't really seem reliable that much. So, you know, be a bit careful with promoting them. Because based on the research I've done, they seem to be a little bit fucking weird. Now, if you worded it like that, I do think he probably... They wouldn't really even need to be a debate. But obviously, it's H3H3. H3, and something always has to go wrong with him. Instead, he words it in the way of... We know for a fact that these websites are a scam. And you guys are pricks for promoting them. Like, later on in the fucking argument of the debate... Which I'm not going to show any clips of. Because it's a very fucking long debate. But later on in that debate, he says that Trainwreck needs to take accountability. But for what exactly? We don't know for a fact that they're a scam. Like, he comes completely skips the fact that he didn't actually make sure that his information is 100% solid because even late I'm sorry I'm holding a fucking comb I don't know why later on in the debate he says that he needs to do a little bit more research on it so he has a case where what he's saying is technically correct but he's treating it as if they 100% know that it's a scam and you guys are fucked which is why XQT and Trainwreck are mad because Twitch chat brain dead they just side with their favorite streamer it makes sense as to why they're mad because Ethan is pretty much calling them scammers by saying they're promoting a non-legitimate website, which H3H3 H3 doesn't know if that's true or not. So in him pretty much immediately jumping to accuse them of scamming by promoting a scam website, he's basically thrown away his case because he doesn't know 
that it's a scam. And also something that he does that he kind of fucks himself on is he states something as if it's fact, but then he backtracks by saying, well, that's my editorial opinion. Now, that's two completely contradicting things. When you're asking someone why they're promoting a scam, and then you're saying, but that's just my opinion, that doesn't really work. So then the second part of his argument is pretty much him trying to say that they're promoting gambling to kids by streaming it. You know my issue with the point that people try and make where it's like, oh, the streamers are promoting this by playing it on stream. My take on that is, it's not the streamer's responsibility, they're not fucking your kid's parents. And a lot of people call that an ignorant take, but I don't fucking think so. I think you should monitor what they watch if you're really that bothered or if you really think your kid is that easily influenced like literally kids have parents for a reason if parents were parenting their kids to teach them what's right and what's wrong then they wouldn't need to rely on streamers or youtubers and you can also bring up the argument of you have to be 18 plus and provide id to get onto gambling websites some of them you don't sure some of the really fucking sketchy ones and a lot of people are treating xqc in this argument as if he's just a flat out retard but i think he does bring up some good points and he brings up a point of if you shouldn't be able to gamble on stream because it encourages kids to gamble while out drinking on stream then ethan brings up the point of you're not getting paid to drink on stream which is true for most streamers but some streamers do get sponsors. For example, Fireball Friday, what Ms. Kiff and her son used to do. And then Ethan brings up the point of alcohol is extremely regulated and you have to have ID to buy it from a shop, which is true, fine, decent point. What happens when those kids see that stream and are like, yo, that looks really cool. And then they go downstairs to grab their parents' alcohol. Or they could also have like an older friend that could buy it for them. Just because the age is 21 in America, it doesn't stop shit. So H3H3 draws a line at gambling. Drinking's fine, you know, drinking definitely doesn't ruin lives, but gambling does. So essentially, he's just drawing random lines that, in my opinion, don't make any fucking sense. Like, everyone tried to call XQC stupid for that argument, but I honestly think it's a pretty good argument. It's pretty much, even though XQC brings up some good arguments, like the ones I just brought up about getting someone older to buy it for you, H3 stays, like, really stuck on the, we're talking about regulated and unregulated here, because whenever anything goes off of his script that he usually has for, like, debates and podcasts and shit, he tries his fucking hardest to bring it back onto the script, or what he has planned out. It's pretty much Death Noodles. So then Trainwrecks comes in, they talk for a bit, it actually gets revealed that Trainwrecks makes a million a month from these gambling streams, but he is down on money. And then Trainwrecks brings up a point about how Ethan's putting someone that promotes gambling and actually gambles, like, with their own money, in the same category as someone that promotes a crypto scam to their fans, which was quite a dumb argument. Obviously, we're talking about Aiden Ross. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, boys. I'm sorry that it were kind of all over the place. I just wanted to come on and rant about that fucking debate because, I mean, there's a, a lot more I could talk about from the debate, but I don't want the video to be, like, fucking half an hour long. That's why I didn't want to show any clips either because I knew the video would be, like, a decent length. And with the clips involved, it'd just be fucking AIDS. Yeah, different kind of video today. Just a more ranty type video. Not much editing. I'm probably going to upload daily for the next three days because... After that, I'm going on holiday for a week, so I won't be able to upload for a week. So, expect daily uploads if there's enough topics. I'm hoping there will be, because I've kind of just promised daily uploads. So, before we end the video, quick shout out to my Patreon. Megjor or Major. Tell me how to pronounce it in Discord, because I know I have you on Discord. I'm not the best with names, but I appreciate you for supporting it. Yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, boys. I appreciate you watching. See you in the next one. Peace out, people. Goodbye.